My name's Mary, and I work at a plastic molding factory. Actually, I've got a problem. What in the world should I do? You there, what are you so worried about? Huh? Where's this voice coming from? Oh, that's not important. Why don't we have a chat? Okay. We're, uh, we're molding connectors using nylon, but we're having trouble getting unstable quality because silver streaks sometimes form on the finished molded parts. I see. It's important to dry raw resin in plastic molding. What? Drying? Yes, and moreover, it's also important to ensure stable drying. If resin pellets that have not dried sufficiently are mixed with other pellets, they can cause molding defects. Drying. So, what should we do? All your problems can be resolved with Matsui dehumidifying dryers. Really? How? First, let me start by explaining how dryers work. Let's go to my lab. Huh? Huh? What? What? Ah! Huh? Wow! Can you see me? I'm the resin pellet fairy, Jushiro. Huh? A talking pellet? Why? Because when you don't dry them thoroughly, you'll have problems. So this is what we call a hot air dryer. It uses a typical drying method in which resin is dried by exposing it directly to hot air. A dryer draws in outside air and then blows air that's been heated by a heater into a hopper. So, it works like a hair dryer. Exactly. This method can dry resin without any problems. Mm -hmm. However, as you know, when you're molding parts with nylon, you've got to manage the resin's moisture content very carefully. Oh. In that case, using this hot air dryer can cause problems. Oh? Why? As you're aware, the amount of moisture contained in air varies by season. Since the humidity is particularly high during the rainy season, a lot of moist air is drawn into the air system. It results in unstable drying. Ah, that's why we get unstable quality. Dehumidifying dryers can solve this problem. They use a dehumidifying material to remove the moisture contained in the air and then heat the dehumidified air to dry the resin. I see. By dehumidifying the air first, the system ensures uniform moisture content in the air, regardless of the season. Exactly. Let me tell you about the mechanism of how Matsui dehumidifying dryers achieve stable drying. One key feature of Matsui's dehumidifying dryers is that they use a proprietary honeycomb rotor, which repeatedly dehumidifies, regenerates, and cools as it rotates. Let's take a more detailed look. Yes. The honeycomb rotor consists of three zones, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. I see. The dehumidifying zone comes first. Here, moisture in the air is absorbed by the honeycomb rotor. Ah, this is the part where the air is dried. Here, the dehumidified air is heated and blown into the hopper to dry the resin. Having absorbed the moisture, the honeycomb rotor rotates into the regeneration zone. The absorbed moisture is evaporated by hot air. Oh, so the absorbed moisture evaporates. It looks really hot. After being heated in the regeneration zone, the honeycomb rotor moves into the cooling zone. There, it is cooled to the optimal temperature so that it can dehumidify air again. Right, so it reverts to its original state. By repeating this cycle of dehumidifying, regeneration, and cooling, the system maintains its performance, even if the dehumidifying agent is not replaced. So it can be used semi-permanently? That's really helpful! The honeycomb rotor is used to create air with a low dew point, allowing the system to realize stable drying. 
What does the dew point have to do with drying? There's a limit to how much water vapor can be held by air. That amount increases as the temperature of the air rises and decreases as it falls. The dew point is the temperature at which water vapor in the air reaches a state of saturation. Cooling the air beyond that point causes water vapor to appear as water droplets. I see. For example, you've seen how water droplets form on the surface of a glass of cold water, right? That occurs because the moisture in the air condenses to form water droplets as the air surrounding the glass cools and reaches the dew point. Right. The honeycomb rotor keeps the amount of water vapor in the air constant by lowering the dew point to minus 40 degrees Celsius. In other words, the air is very dry and contains almost no moisture. That's why the system is not affected by the season, weather, or region in which it's being used. So, a low dew point is important to achieve stable drying. Exactly. Matsui dehumidifying dryers also save energy. After absorbing moisture from the resin, the air flows back to the honeycomb rotor, where it's dehumidified, dried, and then supplied again as heated, dry air. So it circulates. Since there's little exhaust heat from the system, you can avoid temperature increases in the facility. With this system, we can limit the load on the factory's air conditioning system. Matsui's iPlus series of dehumidifying dryers features a self-control function. By continuously monitoring its operating state, the system automatically selects the operating mode with the most energy savings. That's great! Since the system uses a VFD, the blower's speed can be controlled freely. Without a VFD, the system would either stop or operate at full speed, so it wastes a lot of energy. Correct. Since the self-control function enables smooth operation according to operating conditions, for example, during full production or small volume production, or when operation is paused, it facilitates significant energy savings. Reliable drying also helps reduce resource use because it decreases the incidence of molding defects. If we can eliminate molding defects, thanks to stable drying, that will help reduce the volume of material that we've disposed of in the past, and it will help CO2 emissions. Yes, Matsui's dehumidifying dryers deliver energy savings while resolving concerns about molding defects.